Hi everyone, welcome back to The Mystic in the Woods. I'm Kate and today I want to talk a little bit about the villainization of the dark feminine and let you know about a couple of new offerings that I have. Now if there's one thing that I know about the sacred feminine, it's that we didn't evolve away from her as a society and she didn't like fall out of style. She was brutally and violently erased on purpose. And the darker aspects of her that were not erased were brutally and violently villainized on purpose. And the only version of femininity that has been left to us is the good girl. The ever patient, ever caring, ever loving and nurturing mother archetype, which is a beautiful version of femininity. It's just not the only one. And the problem with this is that the human psyche actually requires archetypes and myths and stories and symbols in order to develop in a healthy way. And so as a society, the versions we've seen of femininity have been the good girl and the bad girl. And those have been really, until recently, the only two. We had the virginal mother and we have the repentant prostitute and that's it. Now, on a societal level, externally, a lot of this has improved and we're seeing that change. But because the sacred feminine was so violently erased and villainized, it's very deeply embedded in the feminine psyche. Well, really everybody's psyche. Um, but we have so thoroughly internalized it that even though things are changing externally, we're still impacted by it deeply. It is still deeply impacting our psyche and our daily lives. Because we have only seen these two versions, whenever something awakens within us that has been labeled bad historically or crazy or weird, or not good enough, like intuition, like sexuality, like anger, like primal connection to the earth. Whenever those things begin to awaken, we immediately believe that there is something wrong with us, that we are weird or crazy or evil or bad or not good enough. And this is why so many women spend our entire lives trying to finally be good enough and never ever feeling like we are. Because in order to be safe within the patriarchy for the last 2,000 years, that is what we had to be. And if we want to release that good girl conditioning, we really have to embrace the dark feminine. She really is the key to releasing good girl conditioning, to stepping into our power, to seeing tangible changes in our daily lives. And so we are going to be covering this in depth in my brand new masterclass, Shadow Work and the Dark Feminine. We're going to be talking about the history of the, you know, the history of how the feminine was so brutally erased, how that still impacts us so deeply today, how it is entwined with good girl conditioning. We're going to talk about, you know, figures like Mary Magdalene and Morgan Le Fay and Lilith and Sekhmet and all of these dark feminine beings and how that fits into this whole picture. And then we're also going to be doing deep shadow work meditation so that we can begin to unlock the dark feminine within you and how you can begin to embody and embrace that. So if you don't have a guide who's working with you specifically on this already, we'll go into meditation and meet them. We'll go on a journey. We're going to do really deep shadow work in this masterclass as well. Now, this is a great opportunity to see what it's like to work with me, to really start to understand the dark feminine. And if you know you want to work with me more often, if you want to work with me regularly, I also have the doors to the temple finally open. So this is going to be a monthly membership where we will do monthly dark moon ceremonies to do deep shadow work, to do embodiment work, to sit in energetic frequency that will help to awaken these aspects of us without you needing to even do anything except for practice being present and practice allowing your personality and your ego to quiet 
so you can hear the intuitive voice within you. And it's not as hard as it sounds. And it's something we will be talking about within the temple in depth. And I'm looking for, you know, 15 women. Um, some of those spots have already been taken at the time of recording this to be founding members within the temple. And so you're going to get to join the course live, which from now on after this will be uh, replay only within the temple. You'll be able to, you know, have a voice in how this uh, progresses and how we mold this into being. Um, so this is something that I'm very excited about. We'll do monthly dark moon ceremonies with shadow work. It's going to be the six part course in there. Integration exercises. I have been really, really sitting with this for a very long time. And this is part of what has been rebirthed um, as I have come out of my void period over the summer, which is also something that is deeply feminine deeply dark feminine and has been significantly, you know, just seen as less by our society. This sitting in the darkness, sitting in the void, not constantly growing in a linear fashion. Um, so we're going to be talking about all of these things in the masterclass and the details for both are below. Let me know if you have any questions and I will see you in the next video. So whether or not this feels aligned for you now, um, We've got other stuff coming here on the channel. I've got guests coming up soon, all kinds of cool things. So I will see you later. Bye.